I am convinced that music scores helps these kids in their education so that we can also address the issues of poverty and help address the fundamental issues that we face in this country. Uh, whether we can change the world in six months um, is somewhat of a dubious proposition. Whether we can change the future and the trajectory of children is an entirely different matter. But it starts as any long journey does with the first step. The studies have shown that the kids who get through this program, and they all get through it if they start it, they are in the upper quartile for kindergarten readiness. They are watching the chart on the board with their eyes going left to right, and they're playing right in time. That eye movement, all the syllable work we're doing is helping those teachers in the classroom teach reading skills. Before I take my nap, 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 I go to music class to tap, 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 use my hands to clap, clap. This clap. is the way for these children to reach their potential no matter what they decide to do in life. And we're not trying to make them musicians, uh, but music is key to developing that brain. What's amazing about the Music Scores program is that it gets kids at the right moment in their development. They're young, their brains are malleable. We, we call it neural plasticity. And that's that moment when all the connections in the brain are not yet formed. But what does music do? Music provides the pattern, it provides the template, it provides the structure, the stimulus for those little neural pathways to begin to be developed. The process of actually making those connections happens when a child hears a sound or makes a movement and there's a little stimulus that goes out into that neuron and that neuron sends a signal to the next neuron and every time that signal is repeated, that neuron becomes a little bit stronger and the connection becomes a little bit stronger. You just play like this. These complex neural pathways are like the best possible foundation for all future learning. If there was one thing I could tell you to do as a person with children who are young, it would be to engage them in making music. You were my very first group of students that I was trying this brain research on. So, I have several pictures and here's one of your class. And there you are playing the violin. This program, music in general, has taught me a lot of things which I've applied to my life. Teamwork, discipline, has helped me become confident so I can perform. It has pushed me to go to college and pick the right college for me. I always tell myself, if it weren't for this program, I do not know who I would be or where I would be if it weren't for it. We have been able to provide this program at the cost, it's been less than $200 a year per child. The instructors for one class reaching 18 students would be about $2,400 for the year and 415 children for the entire year with everything, with not only just the instruction, but everything else involved in the program was $65,000 this year. That's the cost and that's why everybody's very intrigued and the school system loves it because it is low factor and yet it's doing amazing things for the children. I say that this program will get them off on the right foot and use their potential to their max, and it can work everywhere. I'm asking for your support today to help make this program bigger. We need to train more teachers. We need more violins. We need more and more publicity about the fantastic outcomes this program provides. You can make a difference in the life of an individual. 
It doesn't have to be a lot of money. You may give $100. Maybe you're one of those individuals that could fund an entire teacher for a year who will in turn affect hundreds of students. Would you consider helping out? Would you please consider helping to invest in the lives of these children? Well, I never thought that I'm going to see my son and my daughter play a violin. I never even imagined. But when I saw my son the first time, oh, that made me cry. You know, I feel chill right now. You can see my face, I know. And now I'm going to see my daughter in. You know, it's like, like the first time, you know, you feel really grateful with God, you know, to let you come to this country and enjoy everything they brought to them. I'll be a violin player. I love my violin. Someday I'm gonna teach the kids to play the violin.